Google Earth is a free software program that allows the user to fly over a virtual globe viewing the Earth through high-resolution satellite images. The program features many data layers as information sources including points of interest, roads, bus stops and 3D buildings. Google Earth also enables the user to create annotated maps and to import personal spatial data. This RLO will showcase in a video demonstration the available coordinate readout options in Google Earth and some of the methods that are available to determine precise locations with given coordinates using the Google Earth search panel. When hovering the mouse over the Google Earth virtual globe in the viewer window, the current 2D position of the mouse pointer on the globe surface as well as its elevation above mean sea level are shown on the bottom of the viewer window. This is highlighted by the yellow rectangle. In this example, the position on the globe is expressed as latitude and longitude in decimal degrees. The elevation above sea level is expressed in feet. The figure below provides a screen capture of available coordinate systems for reading 2D positions on the globe in Google Earth. The user can also type in given coordinates in any of these coordinate formats into the search field and Google Earth will determine their precise location on the globe. Coordinate input requires adhering to certain formatting guidelines, which will be discussed in the video demonstration as well. The first three options express a point position in geographic coordinates, where the user can choose between different latitude and longitude formats. The last two options express a point position through an easting and northing value based on map projections. In this demonstration, the virtual globe is currently zoomed in to the UF Gainesville campus area and mouse pointer coordinates are set to read in the degrees, minutes, seconds format. As a first example, we determine the location of the west entrance of the Griffin Stadium with geographic coordinates that are given in the degrees, minutes, seconds format. The entrance is located at latitude 29 degrees, 39 minutes north and 82 degrees, 21 minutes west, which can be typed into the Google Earth search field. Since the seconds portion in the point description is zero, the seconds do not need to be typed in. If we were also given the seconds portion of coordinates, this could be typed in as well. We can see how the point gets shifted away from the stadium entrance towards northwest. As can be observed, if the mouse pointer is within the 3D viewer window, its current coordinates are displayed and therefore continuously changing with the mouse position. If the mouse pointer is outside the viewer boundaries, the coordinates of a previously determined point location are displayed statically. In the current example, the coordinate description consisted of latitude and longitude in that order. However, when using north, south and east-west letter designators in coordinate input, the order of latitude and longitude can be flipped and Google Earth will still recognize latitude and longitude correctly. We can try this by flipping the order of coordinates for the stadium entry point initially used in this demonstration. The result shows that even if we specify the longitude first, the result is the same mapped point as before. When omitting the north, south and east-west letter designators for geographic coordinate input into the search field, Google Earth assumes that the numerical entry before the comma refers to latitude and that the one after the comma refers to longitude. With this purely numerical entry format, a negative sign needs to be used for a coordinate to indicate the southern or western hemisphere respectively. 
the coordinate specification for the same point as before would then read as 29, 39 for latitude and negative 82, 21 for longitude where the negative sign indicates western longitude. As can be seen, the same location as before is identified in Google Earth. The options menu allows the user to select from different coordinate systems for coordinate readout. One option is to change the readout format to decimal degrees. This displays the decimal portion of latitude and longitude through six decimal digits. The degrees decimal minutes readout format expresses both the latitude and the longitude as a pair of numbers, where the first number in a pair expresses the integer degree number and the second number expresses the minutes with their decimal portion. The UTM format displays coordinates based on a transverse Mercator projection. The full description of a point location consists of zoom number, zoom designator and easting and northing coordinate values. The coordinate values are displayed to the nearest centimeter. The second coordinate system that uses a map projection is the military grid reference system. In this system the point position is displayed as a single alphanumeric string consisting of UTM zoom number and zoom designator, the 100,000 meter square ID and five digit easting and northing values expressing a position to the nearest meter. This format does not provide decimal digits. For now let us switch back to the degrees, minutes, seconds readout format. All the different coordinate formats presented so far can also be used to find the location through the search field. Instead of using a degrees, minutes, seconds format that we used before, latitude and longitude values can for example also be entered as decimal degrees. Coordinates of the previous stadium point in this format would be entered as 29.65 and negative 82.35. It is also possible to use the degrees decimal minutes format. We can for example use the previous point location of the stadium entrance and add 0.1 minutes to the latitude. For location search based on the UTM format one needs to provide the different components of the complete point description separated by space. The following point example uses UTM coordinates for the entrance to the administration building of the Fort Lauderdale Research and Education Center. This example shows that the UTM format allows typing in decimal digits as well. Although in this example the Zoom designator was accurately specified as Zoom R, Google Earth will also correctly map a point on the Northern Hemisphere as long as any Zoom designator from the Northern Hemisphere is entered. The same principle applies to the Southern Hemisphere. Since the S band is on the Northern Hemisphere, this means that for example an S designator would for the current point result in the same mapped position. Google Earth allows to visualize a coordinate grid on top of the globe for reference. For example, when using the UTM readout format and turning on the grid option, the UTM grid is shown.
as the globe shows, the Fort Lauderdale Research and Education area is located in the UTM zone 17R. Finding a point position works also in a military grid reference system. In this case, an alphanumeric string needs to be entered, where no decimal digits are allowed. Therefore, the point precision is given to the nearest meter. The point from before can be entered as follows. This presentation illustrated along with a video how to choose between different coordinate systems in Google Earth for coordinate readout. It illustrated also how a point location can be determined when the user enters point coordinates into the search field where certain coordinate formatting guidelines need to be followed.